Hello dear students, so we are uh, making the videos on first PUC introduction of commerce. So <coughs> jointly we are discussing the business studies and accountancy. The main, uh, uh, from the, with the help of uh, the earlier videos, we came to know regarding what exactly commerce, what, ex what exactly business, what exactly business studies and uh, <coughs> later on we have uh, discussed regarding uh, uh, the business transactions, what exactly the business transaction, what, uh, what is not a business transaction and along with that the subject account, accountancy. So let us continue the, the today's video regarding the, some uh, very important tasks. <coughs> Dear students, as per, as per double entry principles, as per uh, double entry principles, principles, every transaction, every transaction, so every transaction means here the business transaction, the very important, the every business transaction contains Transaction contains the term debit and credit. So very important the this one double entry principles. See here. So business transaction, so business transaction or every business transactions works like this with the help of persons, things, thirdly result. Persons, so that we have discussed in the earlier videos, their rule is the receiver, the receiver and the giver. Look here, to say it is a business transaction, the, the people role is the one person become the receiver the another person becomes giver so except these two we cannot say their activities regarding the business transaction in a, in the business transaction one do vyavahara da vahivatinalli ee vyaktigala paatra enide so what is their role in uh, this business transaction so the receiver a vyakti paatra enide andre so one avva receiver agirabodu inna avva Giver agar bodo. Receiver andra speaker is mama. Giver andra kodu mama. Dear students, look here. So the business contains the business activity contains buying and selling of buying and selling of buying and selling of goods or commodities. Goods or commodities. Buying and selling of goods or commodities. Here one person purchases, he is the purchaser, one more person called seller. Here the seller sells his goods to purchaser. Here the purchaser gives money for it to the seller. Look here. So what is their activity? Here the seller gives commodities to or goods to purchaser. He is the giver, purchaser is the receiver. In the second event, the purchaser gives the money to the seller, purchaser becomes the giver, seller becomes the receiver. Like this, so except this, one person a receiver, another person giver, except this, we cannot say their activities in other mode. So they need to, they need to become uh, one in uh, 
the receiver or another one is the giver this is one point so for the sake of this so it is called double entry double means one is the receiver another one is giver so here we are uh, dealing the internal or hidden information like this yes students things the commodities the goods look here the seller sells his goods in the earlier example we were concentrating towards the persons now we are concentrating towards the things so what is the activity of thing if the seller sells his goods to purchaser here the goods goes out goods goes out here the purchaser purchases the goods from the seller so with regards to this purchaser goods comes in goods comes in for the purchaser goods goes out for the seller look here in the second event for purchasing the, the goods the purchaser gives money to the seller purchaser gives money to the seller here the money goes out towards seller but seller receives the money so for the sake of this this is also the thing the money comes in the money comes in for the seller money goes out for the purchaser so like this dear students the things activity of things is comes in comes in or and you can say goes out except this we cannot say the other activities we cannot see the other activities of the things so very important dear students the last one result result uh, of the business is uh, whether it is the uh, loss or it is the profit the result of the business it may be a loss or it may be a profit the result, the result of the students is the pass or fail fail or pass like this the result of the business is the loss or profit so like this we can see the two aspects in an every transactions that is we need to concentrate double entry principles so to fulfill the double entry principles one is debit for these two events or two folded aspects so we can say one is debit another one is credit dear students uh, for this so there is uh, some uh, rules are there <coughs> when we need to say the debit and when we need to say the credit for the business transactions so for this there are two rules one is there are two golden rules two golden rules for debiting debiting and crediting there are two golden rules for debiting and crediting so under uh, first one english system it was uh, earlier system or traditional system that is english system now the running system that is american system both the same american system dear students so we have of this systems these uh, these are the systems which uh, they provides uh, they provide the rules are golden rules for debiting and crediting according to the double entry principles for every business transactions so let us discuss regarding uh, the golden rules for debiting and crediting from the every business transaction as per the double entry principles so now i am going to discuss the golden rules hello uh, dear students now i am going to discuss uh, the english system so <clears throat> let us discuss the golden rule the golden the golden rule for debiting 
for debiting as per the double entry principles debiting and crediting under under uh, english system english system now i am going to say now i am going to discuss the golden rules as per the english system under the english system later on you will see the american system this is the traditional system dear students under this we can easily come to know regarding the uh, the term debiting and crediting so as for the double entry principles as i said earlier every business transaction business transaction andre vyavaharada vahivaru so every business transaction has uh, two aspects it has two fold aspects so one is for debiting another one is for crediting so as i said the every business transaction contains uh, the personal accounts second real accounts real things accounts or you can say that that, that, that then uh, the third one is result that is nominal uh, accounts in the personal <coughs> the activities of persons so he may receive he may give so uh, the first one is the receiver the receiver the second one is the giver so except this the person cannot do anything so if he uh, wishes so to to receive he will become the receiver so another one is the giver the things so when you purchase the things it comes in when you sell the things so it goes out the ultimately last one that is nominal that is result so by conducting this buying and selling of goods or commodities so the result will be the profit or loss so but there must be intention of earning profit as per the business transaction but so result will be a quite different it may be a profit or the loss to students so similarly for the two fold aspects as per the double entry principles we need to say debit for one fold so the term credit for another fold under english system in every uh business transactions okay i'll discuss in brief in the tabular form uh, so dear students look here debit or credit these are very important rules dear students so these are the basic tasks without these rules dear students we cannot uh, construct the building of accountancy and the business activities so every commerce student every business student must know uh, these golden rules so without these rules we cannot uh, uh, study the subjects accountancy as well as the business study so look here debit or credit personal account the second one uh, real account as i discussed regarding all these classifications of account so now i don't wish to i do not wish to so explain uh, still more the lastly that is uh, nominal nominal account so when we say debit so when we say credit of uh, uh, two fold aspects of each and every transaction each and every business transaction which regards to personal account real account and nominal account so now dear students let us see uh, the first one is debit so very interesting please concentrate so please observe uh, this table please observe the activities of this tool under english system so another one is that is credit the second one is the credit as i said in the person the person may receive or the giver so the first one person as per the uh, english system uh, if 
the person is called the the receiver so we need to say him as a debit the receiver this is a rule from the english system so credit the giver so in every person so except this the receiver and giver we cannot see under third party so now the as for the real account so when we are going to say uh, the debit when it comes in debit what what comes in lastly that is what goes out what goes out so look here as for the personal account debit the receiver as for the personal account the second one is credit the giver debit the receiver credit the giver so under real account debit what comes in sorry debit what comes in then uh, credit what goes out finally that is nominal account debit expenses as we have already discussed in the earlier videos so debit expenses or losses credit incomes or or gains so this is the golden rule for debit and credit under english system with regards to the every business transaction yes friends these are very important uh, rules with the help of this only we can construct the building of uh, accountancy so dear students with this i would like to conclude the today's video i tried my level best by standing before the camera along with camera technician mr shivanand thank you